Yeah, we've got Scott McLean on the phone this morning to give us the very latest, um, the containment numbers and the firefight effort. Good morning. Good morning. So, so give us the very latest as of this morning. As of this morning, during all the uh, efforts during the course of the night and yesterday, we're, the totals as far as acres at this point in time are 4,300 acres. We're still at 30 percent contained. The reason we're still at that number is the fact that we are trying to clean up all those miscellaneous areas that have not burned as well as clean up the fire lines itself. How have the conditions been? Were they as bad uh, yesterday afternoon as they were Tuesday afternoon when the fire first started? No, we didn't have the significant winds that we did on the initial start of the fire. We had that inversion layer problem, though. We expected the inversion to lift further than it did during the course of yesterday. So that hampered our, some of our efforts because we couldn't really see anything from the air in certain parts of the fire. Speaking of the air, we're just looking at some, some video of the firefight yesterday with our helicopter partnership with ABC7 News, Scott, and we could see all of the airdrops that you guys did. And of course, uh, you got a lot of people on the ground, boots on the ground as well. Can you tell us about, you know, do you have enough people? Do you have more coming in? I know we're sending some from the Bay Area uh, additional. Right, we do have enough people. We have the ability throughout the state to add or, or take away resources. That's not an issue. There's no other real significant fires taking place in this area. There are a couple up north uh, on Forest Service lands at this time, but in this area we're, we're doing all right. We did request some more resources, those resources being hand crews and some of uh, Type 3 engines, which are basically a four-wheel drive engine. You have to understand that the terrain is very difficult to work in. You've got very steep terrain, you've got heavy brush, and you've got a lot of washing slopes, which are very hard to traverse. And uh, overall for you guys, how much tougher has this fire season been compared to seasons past? Well, as you understand, we started hiring some of the firefighters back in January. That's unprecedented. We have not done that before. The conditions are similar to the drought back in 1977. So as we go, we reevaluate on, on a consistent basis to make sure that we do have the appropriate staffing to take care of the situation. Okay, very good. Thank Thanks you, a lot, Scott, Scott for that update.